So guys, this channel is dedicated towards sharing my own personal experience as to how I've been able to use certain artificial intelligence tools in a particular way. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing the Google AI Studio, and I'm gonna be explaining to you how I've been able to use it when it comes to setting up a particular side hustle. Now, by no means am I saying that you're gonna be able to watch this video and you're gonna be able to make any sort of money. Just to give you a quick disclaimer, I don't want you to treat this video as financial advice. I just want you to treat it as education or even entertainment. The main reason why I'm even making this video is because this is the type of video that I wish I had from the very beginning because it would have clarified certain things and it would have allowed me to understand fully how to implement the Google AI Studio in the best possible way. But this now brings me on to one of the first steps that I wish I took back when I decided to start a side hustle with the Google AI Studio, which is to clarify exactly what I was trying to do. Now, for those of you that are completely new to the concept of AI side hustles, the thing that you need to understand is that there's a list of different side hustles that you can start and there's certain ways that you can implement AI tools just to make the process a little bit more simplified. And because there's so many different side hustles that are out there, I had to make sure that I was starting a side hustle that I could definitely integrate AI when it came to doing it. And from my own experience, I found that building digital products with the help of the Google AI Studio is one of the best options, again, when it came to what I was trying to do. All a digital product is, is a product that's going to be packed with value that can be sold digitally on the internet. And the main way that the Google AI Studio has been able to help me is by giving me a solid structured business plan that I'm gonna be able to follow step by step. But let me give you a quick example as to what I was able to do. So if I just jump onto this quiz over here that I made myself, at the end of it, it's going to give me a prompt that I'm now gonna be able to copy and paste into the Google AI Studio. So let me quickly show you how it works. So one of the first questions in this quiz is what type of digital product are you most interested in creating? You've got the option of digital planners, spreadsheets, eBooks, you know, educational guides, digital journals, but the one that I'm going to pick is going to be eBook. Question two is what type of niche do you have knowledge in? Now, my recommendation, you know, something that I've been doing personally ever since I started selling digital products is to make sure that anyone that I decide to sell is centered around something that I've got knowledge in because this is gonna help me sell it even better. For example, I wouldn't want to sell an ebook about gardening because, you know, I know nothing about that. I would prefer to maybe sell an ebook about social media education because this is something that I'm heavy into. This is something that I spend my day to day researching. So in today's example, I'm just going to select this one. Question three is how do you want to sell your digital product? For me personally, I am going to select my own website in this case and then click on next. Question four is how much time can you dedicate towards this per week? You know, for me, I like to put a lot of energy and time into something that I'm taking serious. So I'm gonna say that I can put between eight to 15 hours. And finally, how do you plan to promote it? I'm gonna say that I plan to promote it using Instagram and TikTok Reels. And then I'm just gonna click on submit. From there, it's now giving me this customized prompt that all I simply need to do is just copy all of it just like this and then open up the Google AI Studio and paste it in there just like that. And as you can see, it's straight away gone to work to start producing out all of the step-by-step -step strategy that I need to take when it comes to all of the different selections that I inserted into the quiz. And the reason why I recommend using something like Google AI Studio is because it's connected to the biggest website in the entire world. You know, Google is the biggest platform, it's the biggest search engine, which means that they've got a lot of information, they've got a lot of data when it comes to being able to give me all of the information I need when it comes to being able to execute this in the best way. As we can see, it's giving me the product idea and validation. It's also giving me the brand names to choose from, you know, the content generation prompts when it comes to making the actual ebook, you know, the chapters that's gonna go into the ebook, just everything I need when it comes to the step-by-step -step checklist for me to know exactly what I'm doing. So from this point, what I tend to do is make sure that I'm following the checklist one by one because it's just gonna make things a little bit more clearer. So if we just go over to the checklist once again, we can see that the first steps that I need to take is, you know, validate my idea to make sure that it's something that people are actually searching for on Google Trends. So we're gonna do that right now. We're just gonna open up Google Trends just like this. I'm just gonna type in social media education and then I'm gonna click on explore. And as you guys can see worldwide, ever since 2004, people have gone onto Google 
at increasing numbers year after year to search for this particular keyword, which means that if I was to build a ebook around social media when it comes to educating people, there's a high chance I'm going to be able to put my product in front of them for me to be able to sell it. So the main point of this step is that you just want to validate it, make sure that you're not wasting your time when it comes to whatever type of digital product that you're looking to make and sell. And one of the next steps that it's telling me to take is to choose a domain name as well as my hosting. Now, when it comes to hosting, the reason why you need it is because it's going to be required when it comes to building your website and being able to make sure that it's active for people to visit. And the hosting company that I use myself is Hostinger. I found it to be a really effective solution when it comes to building a website really quick. You know, as you can see over here, when it comes to using it, you're going to be able to get a completely free domain name. You're going to be able to get your site built really fast using AI. There is going to be some work that you need to do when it comes to making sure that the site is ready for you to launch it. But by using something like this, it just takes away a lot of the heavy lifting. So what you got to do once you get onto this page is just click on claim deal. The one that I'd recommend that you pick is the business website builder. As you can see over here in terms of the top features, you're going to be able to get up to 50 websites. You're going to also be able to build your website using a drag and drop editor. You know, there's all of these different aspects and features to it when it comes to the AI tools, you know, AI image generator, AI writer, AI blog writer, the list goes on and on. And when it comes to selling your digital product, you're going to be able to do it with zero transaction fees. So just come over here, click on choose plan. When it comes to the period of time that you're going to have the website for, the one that I normally pick is the longest time because with this one, I'm able to get the biggest discount. So you can either select one month, 12 months, 24 months or 48 months. It's completely up to you. But every single time that I create a new account with Hostinger, if I want to be able to get a discount, this is the coupon code that I use. So I just type it in there just like that and then click on apply. And then it's just a case of just clicking on continue. Once you're logged in, it's going to take you over to a page just like this, where all you need to do is enter the brand name and a description of the website that you're looking to build. So what I do is go back over to the business plan within the Google AI studio. And there's going to be a list of different brand names for me to choose from. So the one that I'm going to pick is this one over here, Social Smart. I'm going to paste it in there just like that. And for the description, I'm just going to go back over to the business plan in Google AI Studio. And I'm going to copy this entire description. And then I'm just going to paste it in here just like this. And literally all I need to do from this point is just click on create a website. And there we go, guys. My website has now been built ready for me to start using it straight away. But as I said previously, you do need to make sure that you go through it, make sure that you're completely happy with it, you know, make sure that everything is how it should be. When it comes to using any sort of artificial intelligence, you need to use it as a tool when it comes to assisting you. So even though, yes, I've now got this website built, it doesn't mean that I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on go live. What I'm going to do is click on the editor button. And if I want to make any changes to it, you know, if I want to change the placeholders down here, if I want to update a specific image, that's what I need to do. For example, there's this image over here that has a different language on it. So what I'm going to do is just click on edit image just like this. Then I'm going to click on replace image. I'm going to come over here to where it says free images. I'm just going to type in social media and see what type of images pop up. OK, so there's all of these different free images that I can choose from. The one that I'm going to pick just to show you an example is this one. And just like that, the picture has now changed to the one that I selected. And that's something that you're going to be able to do throughout the entire site. You know, if you want to change this main image, if you want to change any of the text, you're going to be able to easily do that. Of course, over here, we've got the shop page where the ebook is going to be listed. All of these different ones are just placeholders. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to remove them in a moment and add your ebook, which actually now brings me on to one of the main things that most of you are probably thinking right now, which is Sam. How exactly are you going to make a digital product, you know, in the most efficient way possible? Now, the tool that I use is this one right here called Gamma. I've shown it on my channel quite recently, but they've made some updates to it in terms of the quality of the digital product that it's able to make. So let me show you exactly how this works, right? All you need to do is just click on generate. Then what you need to do is click on document, come over here to where it says default and I select A4. When it comes to the amount of cards, this is essentially the amount of pages that's going to go into the ebook. So you want to make sure that it's value packed by selecting the highest one. 
because it takes some time for it to produce it you know i'm not going to do that today i'm just going to leave it on eight and then what i'm going to do is go back over to the google ai studio and there should be a section here that says how to generate an ebook with gamma and there's going to be a prompt that you're going to be able to copy and paste so i'm just going to do that just like that and then click on generate outline from there gamma should come back with the chapters and all of the information that's going to go into this particular ebook and it's going to be from this point where if i did want to make any changes to the chapters you know it's very simple i'm going to be able to just edit the text just like that if i want to remove anything you know for now it looks really good you know it looks really informative so i'm just going to leave it as it is i'm going to select the right theme that i want i'm just going to leave it on this color i'm going to make sure that detailed is selected and from there i'm just going to click on generate and there we go it's already started processing the ebook right there and this should take a couple minutes for it to complete the only reason why i like using this myself is because it just saves a little bit of time when it comes to formatting everything structuring everything trying to think of exactly what to put in the ebook just like i've already said a couple different times in this video already you want to make sure that you read through it that you're completely happy with the information you know if there's anything in it that you want to change you're going to be able to easily do it but this is where the power of artificial intelligence comes in, you know, just saving time, saving headache, being able to do things without having to pay a freelancer to do it for you. Because trust me, guys, when it comes to making ebooks and all of these different digital products, I've hired freelancers on websites like Fiverr, Upwork and Freelancer.com. And they either do it incorrectly, they either take weeks to do it or what they do is run away with my money completely. So by using AI, it just kind of puts the power back in your hands where you're able to build something, you know, go through it, make sure that you're happy with it, use AI within the particular tool to make any adjustments. And once you're completely happy with it, all you got to do from this point is just export it as a PDF. Okay, perfect. So the PDF export is already ready for me to start using it. So I'm going to show you how I would list it onto my website for people to buy it. But before that, I'm just going to show you how I would make an ebook cover by going onto Canva. This is going to be necessary when it comes to being able to list it on your website for people to see the ebook cover so that they can decide if they want to buy it or not. This is exactly what I do. So all I do is come over here to create a design and I just select ebook cover just like this. The good thing about Canva is that you could just type in the topic of your ebook and it's going to give you a template to choose from. So I'm just going to type in social media. And there's all of these different options for me to choose from. Now, the one that I'm going to pick is this one right here. And I'm just going to make some adjustments to it. So I'm just going to remove this just like that. And I'm going to get this graphic over here. I'm just going to put it there just like this. You know, it's not the best, but I'm just trying to show you how you can use Canva if this is something that you wanted to use. And I'm going to change this text to social media. And I'm going to change the heading text to for beginners and then finally i'm going to change this text to how to get started with social media just like that and this is all i'm going to do for now of course you can tailor it in any way that you want to you know i'm not taking this serious i'm just walking you through the steps that i would take if i had a little bit more time but even though i haven't put too much time into this it still looks decent so what i'm going to do is just click on share and i'm just going to download it okay so that's done now when it comes to listing this ebook as well as the ebook cover on my website for people to see it, the way that that works is that I'm just going to come back over to Hostinger. I'm going to need to remove all of these different placeholders for now. So what I'm going to do is just click on manage store. I'm going to go to products. The thing that I always do is just select all of it just like this and delete all of these different placeholders and start from scratch. So literally it's just a case of clicking on add product. And then from here, you just select digital product. Then what you can do is just upload the image that you downloaded from Canva. And that's going to make it a lot easier for Hostinger to know exactly what my ebook or what this product is all about. So it's going to automatically fill out the title, the description and any other information that is going to be able to automatically fill out. So what I'm going to do is to select this one. Then I'm just going to add the ebook cover in there just like that. As you can see, it's already processing it. And it should instantly come back with the title, the subtitle and everything else. And all you got to do from this point is just add the price of the ebook. You know, you can set it to whatever price that you want. 
I'm going to put this one and when it comes to the actual ebook that you would have got from Gamma, you're going to upload it in this section right here. So whenever someone buys the ebook from me, they're going to automatically receive whatever file I upload into this section. So that's now been done. It's available for people to buy straight away. So if I just go back over to the website, let's take a look at the listing and the product page as well. So I'm just going to click on shop. So we can see that all of the placeholders have now been removed. This is the product page. You know, people are going to be able to see the ebook. This is the ebook cover, all of the information about it. And they're also going to be able to add it to their bag. So for the most part, those are the basics of how I've been able to use the Google AI Studio to give me a solid business plan that I'm going to be able to follow step by step. So with the business plan as well, it's also going to give you information of how you can actually drive traffic to the product. So that's what I use as well. You know, of course, building a website, having a product available is just one part of it. But you're going to also need to drive traffic to the product page if you want to be able to see any sort of success. And if we just take a look at the business plan on the Google AI Studio, some of the ways that it's given us information on how we can promote this digital product is going to be through Instagram and TikTok Reels. So if I wanted to start producing short form videos and uploading it to TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, you know, I'm going to be able to use InVideo when it comes to just copy and pasting these different prompts in the Google AI Studio. And then from there, use those short form videos as a way to build up momentum. Another way that I can get traffic onto this store is in the form of Google SEO by publishing blog articles. And the Google AI Studio is also going to give me titles that I'm going to be able to copy and paste into Hostinger for it to produce fully written articles on my behalf. But I would say the best thing about doing the side hustle that I've found from my own experience is the ability to produce multiple different digital products. Yes, I've got this one digital product available for sale right now. But all I got to do is repeat that process, go onto Canva, make an ebook cover, go back over to Gamma, make another ebook. And from there, I'm going to be able to cross sell and upsell. But just to re-emphasize, this video is based on my own personal experience. I'm not saying that you guys are going to be able to replicate it and see any sort of success. Just treat this video as entertainment or education. But I'm sure that you guys have been able to learn something today. And if you have, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. And if you wanted to watch a recent YouTube video that I made not too long ago, where I go through some of my favorite AI side hustles that I've been able to build up over the years, you're going to be able to check that out by clicking the link right there. Watch that straight after this because it's already been able to help out so many people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish, you're also going to be able to learn something from it as well. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.